Hi guys, this is Ted with the Chaos Group. This tutorial will be covering the V-Ray for SketchUp Express Tools. To get started with this tutorial, you will need to download the Express Tools installer and install that package on your computer. If you haven't done so already, go to the Chaos Group website at www.chaosgroup.com in the Downloads section and download the V-Ray Express Tools for SketchUp. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. We'll open a new SketchUp scene as I've got here. In each SketchUp scene, you typically have Sophie. So the first thing we're going to do is delete Sophie because we don't need her in the scene. And then move up to your components and your materials. If you haven't opened those yet, you can do so from the Windows rollout, materials, and components. So now that we've got Sophie out of there, we're going to purge her out of the scene and then purge our unused materials. And now we've got a nice, empty, clean scene to work from. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is where the new V-Ray Express tools are located. You can find the components in your components library. And your typical component sampler and dynamic components are there. But we've got an additional V-Ray components. In the V-Ray components, you'll find HDRI dome lights, preset studio lighting situations, as well as some preset studios. In your materials library, if you click the rollout menu there, you'll see you have all your standard SketchUp materials, but in addition to those, you'll also find the V-Ray for SketchUp Express materials, designated by the VFS in front of the material library name. Let's go ahead and make a quick scene here. We're gonna to go to Studios, open up our 360 degree studio wall, and place that in our scene. I'm going to scale this up five times. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a series of test spheres to my scene. We'll place those right in the center and go ahead and zoom in on those. Now what you'll need to do is explode these so they're individual spheres and orient our scene and I think we're ready to go. The next thing I'm going to have you guys do is open your options editor and change your settings via your presets toolbar. I'm going to go interior, test quality, and check that. And then in our output settings, we're going to go ahead and choose from our HD list 1280 by 720. I'm going to lock this, change it to 800 by 449. And what that does is gives me the HD aspect ratio, but a slightly lower resolution for the rendering. Close that. And let's go ahead and kick off an RT render. As you can see, we've still got our daylighting. And it's not very impressive at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in an HDRI. So choose from the list of dome lights. And in this case, I'm going to use the studio dome light and place that in my scene. And the last thing I'm going to do in our options editor is turn off the environment because we don't need the SketchUp sunlight we have a dome light to light our scene instead so as you can see RT is going to start resolving we've got the materials on these test spheres already set up and you can quickly and easily see how nice the materials look but let's say we want to change a material in our scene go ahead and add in a V-Ray for SketchUp material. I'm going to choose some car paint colors and rather than paint them into the scene what I'm going to do is right click and add to model and I'm going to choose the moto green add that to the model and I'm going to get the black add that to the model and maybe some metals. Let's go ahead and do uh, we'll do gold and a glass material. Add that to the model. 
Now that you've added all those materials to your model, let's go ahead and open up your material editor. And there you'll see all those new materials that you've added to your scene. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these a bunch of different colors. I'm going to paint this car paint black. And as I paint these colors, I'm going to go back to my home screen. They're going to populate in my scene. Look at that. And let's add Ruby to this one. So now that you've got some new materials in your scene, you can quickly and easily change them out. Now this isn't the only setup we can do. I can go ahead and delete my dome light here and also my background and I can add in the different dome lights. Now we've got C2 lighting our scene. If I pan around here we can actually see the overall lighting in our scene and it's lit by the dome light exclusively. And You can really see how these materials kind of pop out of the render as I rotate around. If I delete that one, I can add in a forest scene. And this is really great for developing new materials or testing out ideas. So finally, one of the last things I can do is I can choose studio lighting. I'm going to place this, orient those lights. Now because we don't have a studio floor, we're not going to see anything on the background, but I can add back in my studio and this time I'll add in a soft disk. Place that right into my scene and almost instantly I've got a brand new scene with only a few clicks. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have fun with the new V-Ray Express tools for SketchUp.